Good evening, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com, and we're coming back to Tesla. Now, over the weekend, it was actually Friday night, I posted a video on Tesla in our chart of the day, and I'm back here again. The reason is because my suggestion on Tesla was because the stock was so close to 1700, which is kind of the you know, the, the resistance here, just that we've seen this thing struggle um, to get through several times. My suggestion was rather than just rush in to buy the stock because it's going to break out, respect the fact that this stock could sell off again. Not in a big way, but it could just maintain this pattern. And so I said, wait until um, 17, 1700. Now I got you know, some emails that told me I don't know what the heck I'm doing, and I don't know, maybe you're right. Who am I to judge? I just do the best I can. But today, the stock, boom, broke out above 1700 and that wasn't the top. You can see it. It ran up. Let me get, make sure this is, wouldn't it be nice if you could buy it at 1600 So this is the way the stock traded today, gapped up. 1680 and then just kept going in no time at all it broke through 1700 and never looked back volume was very very high by the way one one point if you're looking at volume and you should be you should never look at the middle the volume sorry I'm trying to get this there that's better you should never look at volume in the middle of the day as an indication that maybe the stock is weakening or whatever. People are getting lunch here. I know I am. So you can expect you look at almost any stock and you'll see a lighter volume during the middle part of the day. What you're looking for as far as assessing the intraday strength of a stock is during this lower volume day, does the stock start drifting lower as if you know, maybe there's just a few buyers that are in this stock that want to get in this stock and when they leave for a while, the stock comes down. Or does the stock just kind of go sideways like it has done here, which indicates that even during the low volume part of the day, there is still demand for the stock, particularly since it ran up to 1800 and then stayed there. So where do I think the stock's going to go? I told our members here. Seriously, um, <laughs> I don't even know. It could beat Elon Musk to Mars. I'm not a I'm not a fan of of Tesla. I've owned a Tesla, and I, I find their cars to be frustrating and substandard, and the quality controls crap. I mean, it really, truly is. And the service, because they get overloaded, the people there are really super nice. They're very, very nice. And they really, really care. But because they're so overloaded, at least the one in Newport Beach, I, you can't get the, your car in there for a long time. And then when you do, they probably they kind of fix it wrong because, this, because they're so busy or their parts are back ordered or something. It's always like Roseanne, Rosanna Dana said, it's always something. So I'm not a big fan of the car company. However, and if I've offended you, you know what? You'll live with it because I will. However, when it comes to the stock, this is actually my biggest position now because I understand the price movement. And that's, that's the main thing I just mentioned to members in my, I just did my video for our premium stuff, and I said, don't fall in love with a stock, fall in love with a price pattern. If you fall in love with the price pattern, that's repeatable. But if you fall in love with a stock, Lord help you if you're fallen in love with Boeing or IBM, I don't know what IBM looks like, but my point is you fall in love with patterns, and I've seen this pattern a lot of times, and I'm in love with it. So you see the stock, broke out. I mean, it broke down here a little bit, traded sideways. Then it broke out to the upside. But the issue that I had with it was this 1700 level was right overhead. And so, oh, you're a chicken. No, I've just seen this a lot of times before. And that is if you're buying very close to resistance under the theory that it's going to break out, what if it doesn't? 
What if it pulls back one more time like it has several times before? If it pulls back one more time, now you're holding a stock that you bought at resistance and you got to hold it all the way down to see if support is going to hold. And so that's not a good strategy. And my suggestion was, as you know, wait until it breaks above 1700. If it moves above 1700, that's blue sky and you're in. Well, that's first thing this morning. So where do I think this stock can go? Let's look at the weekly chart. I mean, the way this stock, the way this stock is trading, I, I think I'm being a real wussy here, but I at least think the stock's going to get to 2,000 before the split. Frankly, I think it can go higher. And once the stock does split, that's when you're going to have to really watch it because a lot of times the increased liquidity, there's going to be five, uh, five times as, as, much, as many shares to trade. A lot of times that increased liquidity will actually cause a swoon in the prices because the whole reason why the stock kept going up so much was because there just wasn't enough supply for institutions to get all they wanted. So, and so their buying pressure pushed the stock up. It happened, seriously. But then once a stock splits, particularly if it's more than just uh, two for one, if it's five, I mean, I've seen, you know, six for one, seven for one splits and the stock still just kept going up. But you have to be aware that this many shares, extra shares, the valuations the same, might make it so much easier for institutions to get their fill. Because remember, they're you know hoping that Tesla will be added to the S&P 500. It'll be a lot easier to buy when there's five times as many shares. So because of that, I think the most important thing with respect to this stock is to be watching how it trades after the split. As I look at the pattern here, this stock has run, you know, 680 points. We'll make it 600 points. Now that it's breaking out, you know, I, I could see the stock running another 600 points. Let me move that out of here. I can see the stock running another 600 points up to say 2300. Well, I like to be conservative on these measures because I like to look for minimum price moves. So let's look for 2300 before the stock uh, settles down a little bit. Anyway, that's how I'm looking at Tesla and I think the stock has a lot more upside potential. And and remember, I'm not a Teslonian or a musketeer. I'm just a fan of uh, powerful charts and this is one of them. So one other, two other things actually. I'm holding a live trading session tomorrow morning at the open starting a half an hour before uh, the opening bell. And one of the stocks we're going to be trading is Tesla among several others. And my goal, my idea for trading these live trading sessions in the morning is always to help members make money. Like that's kind of my primary goal. But then the secondary goal is to teach you things that you can do by yourself without having to rely on me. And so I want you, if, you, if you're not a member, if you haven't tried a free membership, hoodwink me. Sign up get into the webinar tomorrow morning, get the benefit of what we're doing there, and then go ahead and cancel if you want. I won't know about it because I don't track that kind of stuff, so you won't be offending me. I just want you to get whatever I have to give because that's why I do this stuff. That's why I get up so early in the morning because I love teaching and I love it when uh, when our members make money. So I want you to be one of them, okay? And also along those same lines, we have a, um, a fast track orientation that's going on. You're getting, I believe it's 30 or 31 videos, one every day. And these aren't just cheesy videos trying to sell you on my magic indicator or something stupid like that. They're really hardcore trading videos to help you bump your game up. So definitely check that out. You get the trading session tomorrow morning and you also get on track to get a lot of information that should definitely help your trading. So that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.